Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this 5x7 version of the hexagon pop-up spring box cards that I've made. I've made the 6x6 maybe a week or so ago now. It's been really popular. Lots of people enjoy making this one, but I have had people ask, as I knew they would, for a 5x7 version. So I've got that one here and I've used my new flowers on this. This is a new stamp set and I'll show you all the, the product that I've used in a moment. But if you've not seen those ones, it has this spring here. So once they take it out of the envelope, you'll see it expands or just springs, pops up, and then it will stand and uh, be displayed. It's beautiful. You've got space on the back to write your message. This will fit into my 5x7 box envelopes or you can make a bouncy envelope and I'll share those tutorials up here or, you know, in the video. Really easy to make, so let's get started. So to decorate this one, I'm using the filigree border supersized nestables from creative craft products with the inverted scallops they fit nicely within them they're all they kind of all work together i'm also using the butterflies galore which is one of my new sets along with the flowers and foliage and the sentiment as well is from the sentiment set so for the base you want a piece of ten and a half by three the height of this can be a bit higher if you want or it can be you know shorter it's entirely up to you. Along the ten and a half side, you're going to score at one and three quarters, three and a quarter, five, six and three quarters, eight and a quarter, and ten. This is the piece to go over the top that you attach your topper to, and this is six by one and a half. Along the six inch side, you're going to score at half an inch, three and five and a half. And then you'll want two pieces of this. This is for the spring. So I've already got one ready here. And this is two and a half by nine and a half. And along the nine and a half side, you're going to score at one and a half, two and a quarter, three, three and three quarters, four and a half, six, six and three quarters, seven and a half, eight and a quarter and nine. The two pieces that you got for the spring, just pop them to one side. These pieces here, just fold and burnish the score lines. On the end of this piece here, which is for the base, just take a little wedge off of each side there for your tab. And then these ones here, you just want to fold like that. That's just going to attach inside. And then the rest will hang out and kind of pop out the top. You don't need to cut anything off of that one. So next we can pop this together. So I'm going to add some glue on my tab. If you fold and lay one side down with the tab and then fold two over from this side, it will all lay flat and that's your five inch width. And just give it all a good burnish. Once it's all together, you want to have your join on the left or the right hand side. You just want to make sure that your middle section, which is one and a half, lines up with the one and a half section on the back. OK, you can see now you've got your hexagon shape there and when that folds flat that's five inches wide then you want to take this piece and you're going to attach it on the top there so you're just going to add some glue along this one and this one and just they're the same width so you're just lining up the score line there with the top like so and then just fold it flat and it will stick on the back piece there to make sure it sits between those sections there. OK, so that's where you'll be placing your topper. Now, some people haven't been adding the spring. I mentioned it in the six by six version. It is completely optional, but I do like the springs. So I've got one here. So this one, you want to start with that one and a half inch section here and that you want to fold that so it's a mountain and then you'll do a valley mountain valley mountain come across and do another mountain valley mountain valley and finish with a mountain fold so it will stick behind that one there so i'm just going to grab my glue and just stick those two ends together and then just bring that all together now with this one i did find when i done my sample that it was almost too much of a spring and it was pulling it out like this so all i did was just squeeze a little bit in the middle kind of folds so again i'm just kind of adding the pressure all down through the middle so i've not really burnished these so there's still a nice spring but it's not too much of a spring next we want to stick these together 
doesn't matter which ends you stick together and then again just bring that all down and then you're going to add your glue to both sides i do it all at the same time you get a little bit of glue on your hands but i find it easier to just stick this all in together okay and then you're going to pop it you just hold pinch like the end and then bring it in there and just sit it on the back one first and then lay the top one down and again you just want that spring sat within this one and a half panel here make sure it's flush with the bottom you can go a little bit higher up it doesn't matter but if it's flush with the bottom it's just easier like so that's now got a nice spring it still keeps that hexagon shape without it going a bit more of a square i guess or like a rectangle shape so now we can decorate it so i've got my topper here so i've already gone ahead and stamped the sentiment today is all about you so i've used the scallop in the white from that die set that i showed and then the filigree is the larger one for those of you that have them or similar oval dies the white one is five by three and three quarters and then the silver one is five and three quarters by four and a half so that's going to stick onto this one here now what you want to do when you stick it down is just get a ruler and pop the bottom at seven inches and then make sure when you stick it down it goes no higher than the seven and then you know it's going to fit in an envelope bouncy envelope box envelope would be best for this because there is that dimension there and i will link the box envelopes tutorial because i've got the five by seven there so i'm just adding the glue on that panel again pop that one down and then i'm just going to start from the top the box envelopes i've got a quarter of an inch bigger so they're seven and a quarter by five and a quarter so it just means you've got room if you you know you have gone a little bit bigger or if you've got decoration overhanging but now that should have just give that a press there we go so now we can start decorating so i've got all these flowers here so i just stamped and colored these i've done the the no outline stamping so i just stamped in a very light pink and then colored them using my colored pencils and it's this one this one and this one that i've used and then the leaves i've used that one i uh, pulled out my parquet flooring stencil i love this one i've been using it a lot lately and i just used it with the picked raspberry distressed oxide and it just matched really well with the particular pink that i used and i'm going to cut these down now and matte and layer the panels here so i'm going to do silver with then the pink paper so you're going to want four pieces of one and a half by two and three quarters and they're going to go on the wider side pieces on the front and back and then you'll just want two pieces of one and a quarter by two and three quarters and they're going to go on the front on the middle front there and back then to go on top i'm going to trim these down so you'll want two pieces of one by two and a half and then four pieces of one and a quarter by two and a half so i'm going to get those all stuck down and get the the flowers all attached and then i'll show you when it's all finished Okay, so that's everything stuck down and I'm just using the Nouveau Glitter Drops and this is colour Gold Coast. And I'm just going to add, I love adding these little dots. And then I'm going to add some of my accent glaze just in the centres of the flowers and that will add a nice shine once that's dry. It goes on a little bit cloudy but it will dry clear just bring that up there you can see how that's going to look so that's the five by seven one finished so i hope those of you that have been asking for that size have liked this 
way I've decorated it in that version. I'll just bring back in the six by six, sit them side by side there so you can see how that one looks as well. It's a favourite style of mine now. I love this and I just love the ease of it as well. So as always, I will link the product that I've used in the description box below. And I'll have this one popping up now as well if I haven't already shared it along with some other pop-up card as well that you might want to watch next. As I always say at the end of my videos, if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.